Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we want to share with you the best DIY decor ideas using, using wood and recycled materials. So let's go ahead and get started. DIY number one. For this project, I'm using this uh, box of Pringles and uh, these um, paper straws that I got from Publix, but I'm sure any uh, store has it. So um, I used a uh, hot glue for the purpose of this video and um, I put all the straws next to each other um, right in the middle of this container. So I left some space on the top and on the bottom. I made sure as best as possible to keep them aligned. If you're doing this, you can certainly use um, other type of glue if you want. As you know, um, hot glue is the best because it dries out the fastest and especially for the video, it's the best. But also, uh, glue sticks, you can certainly um, have a pretty good hold using it. So um, I had one and a half packages of these straws and when I opened a second package um, I've noticed that there's a difference in um, the color. I don't know how is that possible but there um, there's a difference as you can see pretty good difference. So what I decided to do is take out every other uh, straw very carefully gently and pull out um, the leftover glue and then uh, glue the lighter one uh, in between. So uh, that way I will have alternate um, lighter and darker ones and here it is this is how it turned out i think it looks even better than what i imagined actually so next these are my old uh, sandals that i really loved but they broke so i decided to save the bottom portion and also the leather strips and you're going to see them uh, see me using them um, in future videos for now i'm using the uh, this kind of a jute twine um, part that was on the bottom and I am going to use it to cover the bottom and the top of this container. This um, jute part was very beautiful. It's like, um, it looks like it was braided and uh, I think it looks very, very nice and neat. I love recycling things and um, I think it was a perfect, perfect uh, thing to save. Okay, now that I'm done with the bottom part, I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the bottom, oh, I mean on the top. And there is not much else to do for this project. This is going to be it. I love how it turned out. I think it looks so modern, um, chic, and it was very inexpensive. Pretty much cost me $2. Tell me what you think about this idea. Before we um, go on to the next project, I want to ask you what type of DIY, DIYs or crafts do you guys like to watch? Um, do you like to watch Trash the Treasures, Thrift Flips, Wood DIYs, Seasonal Crafts, Dollar Tree DIYs, Home Improvement, or anything else? Um, please tell me in the comments down below that will help me uh, create videos that you guys like to see. I would love to create something that you like to watch. I don't want to create something that uh, you guys would not be interested in. Alrighty, DIY number two. For this project, I'm taking uh, five of these uh, wooden blocks. I actually got these from Timu. Um, they're pretty thin, uh, and I'm gonna be using these wood, um, mini wood blocks from um, Dollar Tree. Now, you can certainly use a box, a cardboard box if you have. I did not have any small like this on hand, so I'm using this. Um, you can make this in a larger scale as well. So what I'm doing right now, I'm gluing these little uh, square blocks um, on the uh, bottom of this um, one of these uh, larger squares and then I'm going to use another square to create a wall pretty much I'm using a um, glue uh, hot glue to attach the sides so I'm pretty much creating a planter so I am just attaching the sides right now and since this wood is very thin I cannot use screws or anything like that so I'm using the um, hot glue. So now that I'm done with all this, here it is, um, I'm going to add uh, these wood blocks on the top as well, top corner, that way uh, the top portion will be secured as well. So um, now that I have all that done, this is how it looks like and it's pretty sturdy. 
Next, I'm going to be using this um, acrylic paint in a color black from the Dollar Tree. And here it is when everything is painted. I was very happy how this um, paint was performing on a wood. Now I'm using this wood sticks uh, from a uh, home improvement store. There's 30 of them in a package, which was perfect for this project. I'm marking uh, with a pencil the size um, of the sides of each um, each side of this, this box. And I'm using this miter shears to cut it. I don't know if I was doing something wrong or maybe my uh, blade was dull, but I had a little trouble cutting this and it's supposed to be smooth like a butter. So um, after that, I'm sanding each side just to be nice and smooth. And then I have all of them. I believe there was 20 of them in total. So uh, next I'm using a hot glue to attach four of these on each side. So I'm starting on the top, and then I'm gonna do next one on the bottom um, and then two in the middle. I really didn't measure this. I just eyeballed it. That's, how, that's why I started from the top and the bottom. And then I added um, two in the middle, sp spaced them out as best as I could, and then glued them. After that, I am gonna do the same thing on all sides. And that's gonna be it for this project. If you're doing this, you can certainly uh, paint these uh, sticks in a different color or you can stain them. I decided to leave it this um, just natural color because I like the way it looks. But when everything was done, this is how it turned out. I absolutely love how this turned out. It will definitely be in my house for a long time uh, because it looks so modern, but also it has wood, which I absolutely love. Tell me what you think about this idea. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We're so happy you guys are here. On our channel, you can find a lot of budget-friendly DIYs, decor ideas, thrift flips, and home improvement DIYs. Um, if something like that is of interest to you, please stick around, subscribe, and click on notification bell on that way you will not miss uh, out on any of our future videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up. That helps us getting promoted on YouTube um, and getting out there. So um, if you're new, we would love for you to uh, give us a comment, tell us that you're new. Um, and if you're returning, we're so happy uh, you are here and for all your support. DIY number three. For this project, I'm using one of the larger wood rounds and uh, two of these napkin rings, I believe. I got them from a thrift store a long time ago. As you can see, they were already used for different projects. And I am going to just uh, sand out um, leftover the paint that was on them. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, use the um, folk art antique wax and I will stain them. After I'm done staining them, this is how they uh, turned out. I think they were they looked uh, like new pretty much. So now I'm gonna use a hot glue to attach this ring on in the middle of the uh, wood round. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with another wood ring, put it on top of the first wood ring. If you want a stronger hold, of course, you can use a wood glue. This was just perfect for the purpose of this video. Next, I found, I wanted some handle. So I found this um, copper ring that actually was in my stash and I didn't want to do anything with it. I really like those stamps on it. It looks like it's authentic and some, it has some kind of a stamp um, of authenticity. So I just added a little dab of hot glue and glued it on the side. That's going to be it for this project. It is a beautiful, beautiful uh, taper uh, candle holder and I cannot be happier the way it turned out. I would like to hear from you. What do you think about this idea? Um, you can use um, anything that you have on hand to create this or simulate this and you can paint it if you like or stain it but this is just an idea tell me in the comments down below which one of these was your favorite number one two or three uh, would you recreate any of these and um, i hope we see you in our next video bye guys